So ladies and gentlemen, on these types of problems, we've talked about this. It says determine if it's a parallelogram. Well, the first thing you need to do, and if anything on your test, is plot the points and label them. Right, Shayla? I don't care if you know what you're doing or not. At least plot the points and label them. So we'll go ahead and do that first. Oh, and it said determine the parallelogram by the slope formula, right? Question number nine, I believe. It says use the slope formula. And if you guys remember, the slope formula is m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. All right, so we go and label the points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's A. B is 1, negative 2. C is negative 6, negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. And D is 0, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so does that look like a parallelogram? Does it look on retrospect of a parallelogram? Parallelograms, remember, have opposite sides are congruent, opposite sides are parallel, right? And just looking by inspection, that looks like a parallelogram. But to confirm it's a parallelogram using the slope formula, I need to confirm that this slope is parallel or that side is parallel with that side. And that side is parallel with that side, OK? So to do that, I have to apply the slope formula. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the slope of DC. And I also want to find the slope of a, uh, DC and AB. If those slopes are equal, then I know it's possible for it to be a parallelogram. I just got to find the opposite slopes. So remember our slope formula, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So for D, what am I doing, DC? OK, so DC is these two. So I just label them x1, x2, y1. Y2. So I have 5 minus a negative 4 all over 0 minus negative 6. 5 minus 4 is becomes 9 over 6, which equals 3 halves. All right. Now I go ahead and determine AB. So for AB, again, I need to determine what is my x1 and my y1. So I'll say that's x1, that's y1. This will be x2 and y2. And again, guys, it doesn't really matter what you label as your x1 and x1, y1, and your x2, y2s. You just need to make sure you're consistent. So here I have negative 2 minus 7 over 1 minus 6. Negative 2 minus 7, that becomes a, a negative 9. 1 minus 6, 1 minus 6 is negative 5. Well, that cannot be reduced at all. Is negative 9 over 5 the same as, or negative 3 halves the same as negative 9 over 5? Or even forget about reducing it. Let's look at it non reduce Is 9 over 6, that becomes positive. Is 9 over 6 the same as 9 over 5? No. So guess what? These two sides are not parallel. So if you don't have opposite parallel sides, is it a parallelogram? Yes. It is? Opposite sides are not parallel? Yes. It's not a parallelogram. So therefore, this is not a parallelogram. Okay? Let's pretend they were parallel, though. If these were parallel, then to prove that it's a parallelogram, you still have to go ahead and determine that these two sides are parallel as well. OK? Zero minus negative six. Huh? Zero minus, minus negative six, yeah. So it's a double negative.